Hello again. Before we start putting that uh, sail drive back together, I thought we could take a little peek in the boat and uh, see what's going on in there. It's a mid-April now and the spring is barely coming here in the Finland and uh, I'll be working inside there quite a while now, getting everything ready for installing the motor and things. I apologize, there's a horrible mess inside here. So here is the cockpit area. I've been patching some holes from the old engine and motor mounts and things. As well as those holes for the new instruments. The old ones were round, now they are square. It's very dirty here. I haven't cleaned up this yet. And it's difficult to do here. We don't have any running water in the marina on the hard, so I have to do that when the boat's on the water. So this is the main saloon. There's a forward bunk there. And uh, my workplace has been down here for now. So this is under the stair that's coming, comes here. And uh, here is the motor mount. So I've been sanding all this area and uh, cleaning it up and uh, building uh, the battery holder. So there's going to be four lead acid batteries here. I bought these uh, battery boxes. But basically, I'm going to put the batteries, batteries like this, another one on this side and two back there. There's four of, four of these. And then I have been building these plywood stands for the batteries because the, of course the bottom of the boat is not really flat so I have to do something to keep the batteries in place so here is the stand for the first two batteries and, and there is two of these going back there. So what's happening next here, uh, I'm going to sand a little more of this old paint and uh, fiberglass these legs to the hull. Um, I'm not going to show to you that there's plenty of fiberglassing videos out there and I'm totally amateur in that, so more likely it's going to be a horrible mess, so I don't want to mess with, with camera. <laughs> at that point. But let's go and uh, put that sail drive back together. So that briefing was uh, filmed a couple of weeks ago and uh, since that I've been mostly crawling down there and uh, and this, the sanding and fiberglassing and painting and stuff. But now it's almost ready and uh, I figure out we should put this back together now. I have all the parts here and uh, at some night I did sand this and the rest of the parts from the old paint but there are still some small places here that I should do a little better job so I can paint this with epoxy paint. Okay, let's see. So I think I have all the parts necessary here. Uh, these are the new ceiling rings. I ordered some extra. If we take a look at this new one, there is this uh, spring here, but I ordered separately stainless ones. I'm not sure if these are already stainless ones, but these should be. So I'll change ones in the here. Uh, and I ordered additional ceiling rings, a little smaller, 
it belongs in here. I didn't show this last week, I forgot. This is the ceiling for the gear shaft, so this goes right into here. Uh, these packages are basically the only spare parts available for this sail drive. So, but let's start with this, these gaskets. So there is two of these and they go like this. So the inner one is towards the gearbox and the other one is towards the propeller. Spring for the stainless one. Okay, let's try to put this Hope I don't break anything. So let's try with this socket. It seems to be okay. And then there's this another one which goes in this way. It's not yet deep enough. This is a bit too small. I don't want to hit the spring. Maybe I'll take this off. Yeah, now it, now it will work. Now it looks like it's well down there and now I put the spring back. Yep, here we go. Now we have a new propeller shaft ceiling. Next we should put this thing back together. Now this thing should go in here. Here we go. Then we need uh, this new O-ring. Should be right in here. Now I'm putting back the gear shifter to here. I'm not sure if you can see, but the shifting thing is now on its place back there and uh, now I should push this there and uh, it can be hard because it will push this needle back in. Now it's still not completely there. Here we go. Next we should put the gasket here, the main gear there and uh, push this back together. First let's put this ceiling ring. The function of this ceiling ring is to keep the oil from getting into this gear shaft hole that. This gear with the bearing back in here like so. Okay now there is a quite a lot of moving parts. This gasket. I'm not really sure if you should put oil in this gasket but I don't have any oil here right now so if then I will open this and put oil before I put this back in the water. Okay, let's start with the gear shifter. It went there, now I'll push this back. Voila. Okay, here we go. Now it's all together. 
and the gear shifter is there. I shouldn't move it because I am afraid I will pull it too much and then I have to open all this up again. Here is the drive shaft. Like so. Now it's back together. Next we should be able to connect this to here. So the gear shifter goes. The gear shifter comes in here and uh, I don't have the mechanism which sits on these uh, notches. But uh, if I need it, I think I can get it somehow. Before we do this, I think we'll, we should take a closer look of these holes. So I already sanded these up with a drill bit with some sandpaper around it. And it worked well, they are now all clean. I think I'll clean these up now with this, this uh, cleaning thing and then we have Sikaflex glue and we fill up these holes with this one. So let's try to do that now. Okay, this has been used last year, so I'm not sure if this good to use anymore. But let's see if this can open this up. Doesn't look very good. Yep, this is gone. But luckily I have a new one. It should be enough. No water coming in from there anymore. I think I'll leave it like this to cure and uh, clean up the, when it's hard. So I think I'll put this impeller case back there just in case it prevents any debris going between there. It seals up this a little so it doesn't do any harm. But I won't put the impeller because we don't need it. It would be dry there and uh, it will just melt and broken. This one will Oh well. Uh, next, we have to figure out how to connect these. We have this uh, O-ring, this connection, but I don't have this gasket. And uh, actually, I'm not sure if there originally even is a gasket here because the cooling water circulates in this area freely. But now when I sealed up these holes, we don't want any water to come in here anymore. So I have to put a gasket around here to keep the water away from this area. I know now when I think about it, it makes me a little nervous. If the gasket doesn't work, I will put some glue or something. Maybe that same Sikaflex stuff between there. So this is a 0.4 millimeter thick gasket paper. And uh, not again. Okay, this is wide enough. I think I'll actually punch the screw holes first and I put the screws in temporarily and uh, then I'll cut the inside with the blade. Sounds like a plan. Now it stays where it is. Now I can take blade and uh, carefully cut the inner area open. Now when I think about it, 
it really doesn't matter how it looks inside there. Okay, I think that's good enough for me. Let's try to put this now all together. Let's not forget this O-ring. Actually, I'm not sure if this needed now when we don't have the water in here, but let's put it there anyway. Oh well. Oh well. Ah. Here we go. It's all back together now. I think I will paint this with some epoxy paint before I install this on the boat. Uh, there's some paint getting off from this area, so I think I'll sand this a bit. This is the area where the ceiling ring is going to be against the hull. So it's important to have this in good shape. From this part down, it's below the water and this is inside the boat. Okay, looking good. Didn't leave any extra parts, which is a good sign. I think that's all from this video right now. And uh, I think next video will be on the boat. And meanwhile, I will go and get these stainless screws for mounting this plate and the motor mount and the motor. And we'll put this back into the boat. And then we can go and check out the electrical side of this project. I hope you liked this video. Uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, there might be some news for the big boat project coming soon, so let's keep that in mind as well. Bye!